When you read my books, you have to suspend uh, your disbelief a little bit because Greg sometimes has a big adventure during the day and he goes to bed at three in the morning and yet he's still writing his journal entry from that day. I think that with, uh, with this series, you have to understand that, that Greg is uh, sort of an unreliable narrator in a way. Oftentimes what he's writing will contradict uh, what you see in the pictures. That's a lot of fun I have with that is to, to show conflicting points of view and to show that Greg isn't always on top of things. But as far as Greg as a character goes, uh, some people criticize him for being a bad influence on, on kids. And I, I don't really uh, understand that because I think that Greg is uh, an average kid, or at least he's like I was as a kid, which is not fully formed, not always making the right decisions, but thinking of yourself because you can't yet see outside of yourself. You know, a kid in middle school doesn't have such a great awareness of the, the, the world around them. They, they're the star of their own story. Um, and so Greg is in this state of, um, you know, pre-adolescent amber in a way. He'll never grow up. Uh, he's going to be frozen in this state for the rest of his life. So you'll never see much character development there. I'd say that uh, the reason that Greg keeps a diary is established in the first few pages of the first book is that Greg thinks that he's going to be famous. I think a lot of kids in America think that they're going to grow up to be the president. You know, I, I certainly did. Um, but that he's going to be so famous that he, he needs to start documenting this. And so I think that's the whole, um, you know, the, the, the pretense of, of, of the book it, or the conceit of the book is that Greg is recording his own uh, future greatness, although there's no evidence of it in the books.